Uh, coaches first. Coaches. Now let's harvest again. Uh, in addition to what's been said, because eight conversation we covered again. So, what went well? It was, it was surprisingly easy to keep the flow going. I don't know, for me as an historian, it's like, sometimes it's hard to keep the conversation going. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know, for me, it was like the issue that can I actually keep the flow? Ah. But it was so easy. And I didn't even like imagine it would be like that. Mm. Also had the constant uh, struggle like not to give advice. Ah. And then <laughs> what worked for you? Uh, I kind of tried to visualize what I still need to do or where, where ah. the steps that I still need to take. So I could kind of keep myself away from it, ah. that I wouldn't be so egoistic to actually give ah. my own advice to another person who mm. maybe doesn't benefit mm. from it at all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's something mm. you need to work on, but mm. it's like slowly fading, I feel. And how did you manage to keep to keep the flow? Because you just realized there's a flow? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually like, I don't actually know what just happened in a way that there was flow. <laughs> and then what did you do that it was there? and you the questions just like kept coming and coming, so it's like ah. there was no like really this awkward silence for a long time or something mm. like that. So it's, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, coach. Um, I can say that I was really stressed before mm -hmm. because this is my first time uh, in this kind of conversation yeah. that has a plan or something. Uh, but it was really nice. I said mm. very interesting person, so she told me a lot. It was a tricky moment for me when I thought, maybe I'm going the wrong direction because uh, I, uh, I offered her a skill and she said, uh, you know what, I would like a different scale. Really? <laughs> and how did you react? Well, I said, okay, whatever well, uh, works for you. But mm. it was like the moment that I was like, mm, maybe I'm doing something wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? Like, because it was really uh, stressful for me at the mm. beginning, but during the conversation, Hmm. I felt better, hmm. better, better, more relaxed. I have to say that for me, this is uh, I have yeah, I have been really comfortable, and I have feel that the conversation is around me and around me about wow. my needs, and I feel that I can to make this change because I thought that it could be more useful, and hmm. I say because I feel that I could I can to do it because the process is for me. And mm. she is a, a, a mm. flexible person, and I feel that mm. I can't do it. And she, uh, wow. yeah, it's a really good sign it. that the yeah. client feels ready to share that. No, no, no. I know what it serves me more, and the coach is ready to accept it. Okay, then let's go with the scale. Wow, thank you. And who else? What else? Go, go. Try to start a conversation. I was hesitating, using this or not, uh -huh. and then uh, put them aside. Me. Mm -hmm. And so that I want to feel comfortable mm -hmm. and natural, and give the doing the active listening. Uh -huh. so I think that it's very important to start. Mm -hmm. and then I will, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I've learned. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it helped me. Mm -hmm. I felt also, and the feedback was also confirmation of that. It was wow. better to do it without those papers and just mm -hmm. me. Uh, uh, this was very uh, uh, nice experience. Also, uh, uh, choosing a topic uh, is one side, but also uh, I need confirmation. You want to talk about it? Yes or no? And then if the client says yes, I can, I can start. Mm -hmm. It's not just about use topic and start. You know, I need that confirmation. As uh, so, the both sides are uh, ah, okay. So there's uh, an agreement. There's an agreement. We're checking with the client. Yes. yes. So and, and then, and then it, 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 it went okay. Uh, I also felt uh, the person uh, the client was was self-reflecting, also mm -hmm. going that way. Mm -hmm. And I don't need so much to say. Just ask to maybe the questions for the right. By, by listening very attentively. So that's a little bit of my experience as, as a coach. Well, it's great to hear that. Uh, paying attention how you prepare and feel ready to start the conversation. Like, you did for you. This was needed.
Anything else, uh, coach? Yeah, my conversation ah. went maybe in a friendly way, but ah. uh, too much friendly. <laughs> ah. and, but anyway, I did, like uh, we we tried. I I did an answer like, was what's your dream? And yeah, like this gave him the possibility to speak like really, ah. really like a lot of space mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. about his dream and think about them. Mm. That was a, a nice point. Mm. It seems that it sounds like that you might want to do something differently next time. Yeah. Uh, How would you do it differently? Maybe the next time I'll be more, you know, you can say professional, like more, more technical. I just ask it like just the, all the conversation was so friendly and mm -hmm. uh, not even went like the technical part, mm -hmm. but. That question was so useful and mm. given like the possibility to speak. Mm. I will lose it again. I'm, I'm ah, sure. the dream. Ah. The dream question. Mm. Good. New question in bed. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> mm. Coach, 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 coach. I think there was nothing good in the conversation because for me it was mm -hmm. so difficult to be a coach mm. and to develop the um discussion mm -hmm. about the problem mm -hmm. uh, in a part of the conversation i say uh, i can i can do that mm -hmm. because the problem for me was so difficult oh. if i can say okay the problem was um, she was she's uh, shy oh. to speak uh, with the people in uh, languages I saw the content yeah, of the yeah. uh, mm -hmm. session was uh, so difficult for you yourself. You no. Yeah, 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 yeah. For ah. me too. To ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. I think it's important to realize. I think for me it was useful, and I thank Leah mm -hmm. for ah. his interview. Ah. Thank mm. you so much. She said that I saw. And nothing. This is an important point to pay attention to how something relates to you to be aware and how did you cope with this situation there like it was difficult yeah and what did you do nothing it was like stressed it was stressed, stressed yeah. but you ran away no no, no. no. <laughs> something like that <laughs> you stayed there i saw yeah. you were talking but shut up oh. okay. no shut up mm -hmm. staying there takes courage Mm. Thank you. And I think like practicing and trying out difficult stuff is practice. Thank you for staying there. I'm looking around. If there is no coach, then let's ask clients. Clients, if we have short time and just harvest what we want to take away as worthwhile, we should learn from that. What would you say? I saw. My, my yeah, I said that uh, my coach was making it easy for me to talk mm. about uh, um, an issue in a way like uh, I was trying to have a kind of humor, like a kind of like self sarcastic mm -hmm. uh, way of describing my problem. Mm -hmm. And and she was just uh, reinforcing it with uh, laughing with mm -hmm. me, but not in a way like laughing on me, but rather really with me. Ah. And then then it was it, it created uh, this atmosphere where it, it was easy for me to go in mm -hmm. more into this situation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, she had made this post. Yeah. When he got when he got blocked, and he didn't know what to do. Left. And I think one thing that he did that can be very easily taken, taken as a good example of what to do when you don't know what to do yeah. is to really let the client do the job in the sense that let them speak. And if you don't have any questions, just ask them more about the what you just said.
did like even though it was difficult and was hard to sit there, he trusted the client this much. That just let you speak. And ask what else? Leah did. Leah. And Davy was there? Yeah. Ah. And Leah, Leah, would you recommend Leah as a coach? Huh? <laughs> I, just, I, I was thinking about this when you get blocked and you don't ah. know what to say anymore, or you don't know exactly what to ask, or you don't know what ah. to say. Should I write what else? <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. The, re the rescue question. <laughs> well, one, two. <laughs> I did say, David, okay? You continue. Uh, <laughs> and I think like, this is a very important yeah, yeah. thing, like uh, what you come to. <laughs> but uh, it's this not obligatory to do this. I mean, like, if you feel ready, and you prepare yourself. You say, okay, I'm ready. It's good. And it's very okay to say, Luca, I'm not ready. Or not this issue. Agreement is on both sides. <coughs> A very important learning point. And what else? What else? <laughs> you said also. Yes, I was like flying to drug. And uh, what I found useful from my coach was that um, my coach was uh, completely present there with me and completely focusing on me. Not even talking, that's what I'm saying, but for me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that, I think, was the key success, you know, what I made the trust. Towards my coach, and uh, from the questions, my turning point was that um, looking in the future, but uh, far enough and close enough. Mm -hmm. So I was even asking my coach, "How did you manage?" Because you put exactly in that point, you know, mm -hmm. not too far, not too close. Ah. So how did you do that? No. How did you understand mm -hmm. exactly that point? No, she didn't. But uh, we have three minutes. Just go. What worked? Uh, what you discovered? Not Is it to, the coaches? Not, not to get the problem in the mind. Not to begin. Uh, what to do? What? How to do it? How to do it? Uh, start with the no. I mean, just give the um, maximum amount of freedom to the, the coach ah. to express the, the situation he is in. What he would like to, you know, be a better future. Mm -hmm. The maximum freedom. And how did you do that? Like, uh, just I asked the, the first question on the on the paper. Mm -hmm. oh. I remember the. I mean, what would be your your best your best future? Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. That's oh. it. I just about the future. Future. Yeah. Okay. What else? For me, it has been really useful to. Uh, to, uh, um, to listen uh, active, the mm -hmm. active listening, mm -hmm. and to put the, all the information inside me and to manage the information to try to get uh, the, 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 a great or a useful uh, question in, in the moment. That ah, in the moment. Use the information from the mm -hmm. client. Active listening. <coughs> active listening. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll So you ask for a symbol? Yeah. Oh. Okay. oh, with a symbol. Uh -huh. okay. Try so to make notes. Yeah. Building a really strong platform. And, and what did you do then? Asking back many times and asking for summary. Ah, oh, asking, asking for summary. For summary. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. About the whole thing. Yeah. Mm. How did you ask? Like, what was the question like? 
please somewhere else. Not can you because then no. there is so a please. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was not a closed. Like can you? Uh -huh. Go for it. That's an assumption. Of course, you can. <laughs> you can. Uh -huh. And uh, so please also somewhere. working. Uh, shouting, but not shouting. Uh, <laughs> 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 shouting at the clown. New instrument. Ah, um, silence. Silence. Yeah, Keeping just silence. painting in silence, and I don't have to ask all mm. time. Mm. Okay, be interested in what they say. Oh, mm. and uh, what what should I do to copy that? What should I do to be get interested? Well, I, I asked. I, I was genuinely interested mm -hmm. in it, and I asked. Uh, uh, more questions about mm. what they were doing uh, and how and uh, mm. be interested. Be interested. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm. Yeah. Okay, we'll for no. Some for yeah. me, it's just a very practical thing that uh, I wanted to yeah, practice these questions from the cards, mm -hmm. but I so not mine, but those. But I also didn't wanted to lock myself or mm. put in these borders. So what I did that I. I was stealing your script from yesterday. Yeah, I was also, uh, I didn't use this paper, so I just remember what she did. Uh, actually, I was writing down your questions <laughs> from, the, from the example uh, <coughs> coaching. So I had two scripts, <laughs> and I was watching parallelly, and uh, which was more fitting to the situation. I was switching back and there. And then I, I, I felt like more resources, and the, I can fit more. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is what I did. It worked. It worked. So even if mm. you spend more time on gaining the trust of the person, uh, which I had now already because we've been here together, um, it really helped a lot to talking about an issue, I mean really talking about an issue, not just bringing it up and not really wanting to explore. Mm. You said some very interesting combination of words. You said explore the person. That was the first putting it, explore the person. Mm -hmm. Gaining the trust enables you to explore the person, not only the problem itself, the issue, but life, the person. Yeah, That's like it said. enables them to explore themselves, because I didn't explore. explore anything, but they explore, they, they, because talking <laughs> helps you think, right? Um, and once they trust you, they wouldn't be afraid that anything they would say would harm you. So they, they would just they would just talk and then perhaps mm -hmm. they would get to a moment where they would say something mm. that actually helped them towards getting the solution. Mm. Mm.